Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this matchup. We have Hargrave Military Academy getting ready to go at it with Combine. And, oh, this is going to be a fun one. <laughs> hey, good to see you, brother. As a lot of people walking. When the friends walk by here, is, that's Aaron Hill and Jaden Daughtry. Go, Hall, I'm sorry, Jaden Daughtry. Go, up for tip off. It's tipped back and in, into the hands of Nichols. But that's going to be a re-tip. So now Hall and Daughtry will go at it once again. Oh, both of them too, known for their hustle plays. They get after it and it's going to go into the hands of number four, Sam Bradford. Nichols with it. He'll take it. And he'll give it over to Bradford. He'll drive into the lane, and kick it out. As it's taken, drive, miss, shots, miss, rebound, Talbert. He'll go the other way with it. He finds Hall on the right, and he flushes it down. Oh, my goodness, our Aaron Hall. What a jam. And that's what he does best as he hustles as it's taken in, and Bradford goes up, misses, rebound, Aaron Hall. Talbert will bring it up from point guard position for combine. Them, it's Talbert, Isaiah C., Georgia's Archer, Shaden Sharp, and Aaron Hall. Sharp from outside, got it! Shaden Sharp hits the first three of the game, and it's a 5 nothing lead for Combine Academy here early. Daughtry up top. Daughtry, who's committed to Indiana State, as it's taken in by Nichols, and he tries to jam it. Rebound C. Talbert on the run. He'll go the other way with it. Talbert, he'll penetrate, kick it out to Sharp. He'll drive in, covered by Daughtry, and Hall turned over. And that's number three, Hawkins, that came out of there with it for Hargrave. Nichols will bring it up. He'll go into the lane, spins, turns, jumper up and in. Nice shot from Nichols. And that's a 5-2 game now. Hargrave pressing, Talbert. He'll go and around the double team, get it into Hall, and get a jam, oh my goodness. Hall with four. And he's doing, that's, is, Hall is a player to watch. He, I mean, there's, you see players that hustle, but Hall just has a motor getting up and down the court. And he makes so many plays, beating his opponents to the basket. As Bradford goes in and a charge. So Combine, this is how you want to do it if you're coming in against the top ranked team in the country. And that will give it back to Combine. Talbert, he'll run the point and bring it up against Nichols. He'll be guarded tightly as Hill, Hall sets the screen, gets it out sharp. He'll take it back up to Talbert. Talbert guarded tightly by Nichols. Hall coming up. Screen by Hall. Talbert at five on the shot clock. Lays it up and misses. Rebound off and over to Hargrave. Nichols on the run. Long ball. Up, in and out. Rebound Daughtry. He goes up, powers it, and he'll go to the free throw line. And that's what Daughtry does so well. He hustles, gets the boards, and he earns those opportunities to get to the free throw line. And um, having seen him recently at the Relentless Hoops Classic at Hargrave, my gosh, um, what an event that was to get to see him there and get to see Combine as well. But Daughtry, and I have an interview that's going to be released with him, and, of course, look forward to sharing that and info about Commonwealth Basketball Group more so, as well as Daughtry will switch the first free throw. And he'll get one more. Indiana State commit at the free throw line and it misses. Rebound sharp. Talbert will control it. He'll give it over to Hall. Being guard, he's guarded by Dartry Sharp. He'll drive in, kick it out. I think for a combine to win uh, today, I think it'll take Sharp having a good game from the outside. He did. In those, the second game he played at, at or at the Hargrave event recently, as now it's inbounded and Talbert will control it up top. He'll get it over, and it's lobbed over to Hall. 
Back in, and they go to C. He takes the jumper, misses, rebound, goes out, and or it will stay with Combine. Of course, Hargrave, I think if you're Hargrave in this, you want to try to get transition opportunities, get Daughtry going, and, I mean, there's so much hype around him for good reason. As Talbert spins in, and that's what I mean, it's turned over. It's taken in, turned back over. C comes away with it for Combine. Talbert now will handle it. As it's poked out of there, Daughtry going the other way, stuffs it down, Jaden Daughtry. That's three for him now, and it's a two-point game. As Hargrave goes back to the press, Talbert will go against Nichols. He'll take it around, and he'll lob it over to C. And back over to Archer. Archer over to C. He'll try it from outside. Missed it. Rebound Montgomery. He'll go the other way. Hawkins into the lane. Puts the shot up. Miss it. Rebound Sharp. He gets it over to Talbert. Back to Sharp. And he'll get it over to C. And a foul. That's going to go against number one, DeShane Montgomery, the 6'5 player from Sunrise, Florida. That'll be his first, the team's second. Tower, or I'm sorry, Archer to, to Hall. Under the bucket, goes up and draws the foul. And that's going to go against no, that's going to go against number four. That'll be Bradford. That'll be his seconds. So he'll likely he may may not take a seat. As it looks like Coach Messenger not who just picked up his 100th win for Hargrave recently. And what a we'll talk a little bit more about him and the staff at Hargrave here in a bit. And now Hall will get one more. He puts the second one up and it's good. So Aaron Hall with five now for Combine Academy as they take an eight to five lead. Nichols up top, screen, double screen coming for him. He'll go into the lane, he'll find the cutting Montgomery who misses the layup. Rebound Sharp. As it's thrown down to Hall under the bucket and taken out of there. But now Bradford and it's turned back over. C up top, he'll get it to Talbert. Back up to C and over to Archer. Sharp from the corner, missed it out. But Daughtry will get the rebound. Thought that was going out. Daughtry got it. Now Montgomery on the run. He attacks and it'll be a blocking foul against Combine. And I think that's going to go against Talbert. But Montgomery is going to go to the line. He'll he'll get two shots, and that or that's going to go. I'm sorry, that, that's that's going that is going to go against Talbert. That'll be his first. As number 34, El Haji Diallo checks in for combine, and C will go to the bench for a breather. One more coming up for Montgomery, and it's up. Off the backboard, rebound by Diallo. So early lead for Combine here in the first half as Talbert will bring it up. Nichols will pick him, him up. Screen coming from Hall and it's poked out. Nichols will run and track it down. He'll go the other way, kick it out and taken, almost taken away. Daughtry goes up, blocked from behind by Diallo and it'll stay with Hargrave. And that's what Combine will have to do. Hargrave does a great job sending that pressure. And that's the thing. This is a team that has, I mean, they just keep sending guys at you repeatedly. And they have, I mean, a lot of those guys are, I mean, are the type that are big-time college players. As 
Bradford goes up and gets his first bucket. Tie ball game. Talbert guarded by Nichols. He'll take it, launch it down court. Diallo will slam it. Wow, what a duck from Diallo. So it's 10-8, combine, Daughtry up top. He'll take the mid-range shot and connect. Daughtry with five now. And we're knotted up again. Talbert against Nichols. Will be double teamed, he'll get it to Sharp. He'll go into the lane, find Hall, poked out of there and into the hands of Bradford. Good couple, job by Hargrave, the last couple possessions when he's got it in there, it's taken back by Combine, but Hargrave was able to get their hands in before Hall could get the shot up. Archer from the corner, got it! And that's a three-pointer, Georgia's Archer with his first bucket. So now it's a three-point lead here. As Bradford kicks it out, Montgomery will drive and it's poked out. It'll stay with Hargrave. As we have substitutions, that's number number two, Asher Jackson coming in, and number five, Diovan Famakende. Out will go Hawkins and Bradford momentarily. As it's lobbed in, that's Famakende up top. He gets it over three ball. Montgomery from downtown, it's good. And he has four now. Tied up once again. Talbert, he'll be guarded tightly by Nichols. He'll take it against him. And he'll penetrate. Double teamed by Nichols and Famakende. He'll throw it to Archer. He'll power it up and in. Archer with five now. Fama Kende will run the points. And he'll get the offense set up. He'll give it over to Montgomery. And to Jackson, back up to Montgomery. Over to Nichols. Nichols guarded by Talbert. Screen coming from Montgomery. Five on the shot, or eight on the shot clock as Nichols misses the shot and rebound by Archer. He scored the last five for Combine and a big board for him as Talbert will handle it going up court. He'll be picked up by Nichols. Screen coming from Diallo as Talbert penetrates, kicks it to Sharp, off balance three, misses, rebound up and tipped back to Diallo. Hall will handle it and give it to Talbert. As Asher Jackson guards him, Diallo will give it to Archer. He'll drive in, mid-range jumper, rattles out. Rebound Famakende. He'll go on the run. Famakende into the lane. Puts it up. Blocked by Diallo. And I think Diallo was on the line. He was. It'll stay with Hargrave. That's two swats for Diallo now. This has been a back and forth, up and down game here early. A lot of fun to watch as Montgomery goes up and scores again. That's six for him now. And a timeout taken by Combine. It'll be a... Th a quick one, we'll take it with them. We'll be right back here on Commonwealth Basketball Group. Okay, we're going to resume play. Tied up here in the first half, Combine basketball. Talbert up top. That was the first timeout taken by either team. Combine just took as he'll have it and be guarded by Nichols. Now, as Hall comes up, it's poked out. Talbert hangs on to it. He'll lob it to Diallo and over to Archer. Screen coming from Diallo. It's thrown to Diallo. 
He'll power it in and go up and score. No call on that. So Diallo will get his second bucket as Combine will again take the lead. They've led by as much as five so far early. Nichols, he'll give it to Daughtry. He'll look and give it to Fama Kende. Fama Kende, the two number fives, him and Hall going at it as he'll drive in, be cut off, and throw it. It's deflected and out of bounds. It'll stay with Hargrave. They have seven seconds to get a shot off. Nichols will slap and inbound it. He'll lob it to Fama Kende. And three, two, takes it in, puts the shot up. Oh, my goodness, he got that and got fouled. What a take by Fama Kende. And he'll go to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Now number 15, Ryan Richardson checking in for combine. Out will go Sharp for a breather. And now Fama Kende at the line for the and one opportunity and misses, but we have a whistle and looks like a lane violation. So Fama Kende bailed out on that one and he'll get the chance for another shot here due to the lane violation. He'll put that one up and make it that time. Got to be careful in those situations as now he has three and it's a one point lead. It's actually the first time Hargrave's led so far as Talbert will bring it up. Screen coming from Aaron Hall. He'll take it and throw it to Archer and over to the corner to Diallo. He'll post up, take it in. He swarmed, goes up and jacks it. Diallo with a dunk and he has six. Paul McKende. He'll take it, spins, turns, jumper, up. Misses, rebound by Diallo and confusion. The shot as the whistles stop, a quick official's timeout. The shot clock stopped, and so we're, we're going to, officials are taking a quick timeout here, but um, <clears throat> gosh, I think, I mean, the last game between Fork Union and Mount Zion Prep, oh, what a treat that was. Fork Union would win on a, Last second shot, 79-77, and this one I think is going to be darn good as well. Talbert against Nichols. He'll look. He'll throw it to Diallo. He's posting up, and it's cut off by Fama Kende, poked away, and thrown into Archer, but Hargrave does. They do such a good job with their hands in the interior lanes. That makes it hard to – they do a good job getting deflections. Nichols hits the three-pointer. Nichols feeling it. He has five. It's a two-point lead for Hargrave now. Richardson will handle the ball. He's cut off, and a timeout taken by a combine. Uh, we'll see what they call here. Oh, uh, it'll be a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. But my gosh, these two teams are, you just have two Outstanding coaches going at it. Heck of an event it's here though. We're out helping somebody find some cups. Um, but yeah, that's um, these two teams going at it. Two great, great programs that as we're getting ready for so combine will inbound and Archer will get it into Talbert up top Talbert against the pressure he'll take it against Nichols will go in and give it out to Diallo he'll go against Fama Kende and draw the foul will be on the floor. That'll be the fourth team foul on Hargrave, and I think the first on Fama Kende. It is, and so now Talbert will inbound here with 9.20 to go in the first half, his team trailing by two. He slaps, and he looks, looks, and lobs it into Hall, and it's nearly taken away. It is, and a jump ball, or no, a it looks like 
confusion on the. So they're saying Hargrave took a timeout. Okay, so Hargrave met so. Okay, so the timeout is going to combine act the official accidentally motion that was Hargrave. So, so it'll be. Uh, So it'll be a full. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. You're watching the CBG Live Network. Change to the 30, so we're back. Talbert will lob it in. It's taken away by Jackson. Montgomery on the run, and he dunks it. And the Shane Montgomery gets down court. Good hustle from him, and it's a four-point lead for Hargrave. Richardson drives in, puts a shot up, misses. Rebound goes to Hargrave. Nichols now will take it. He'll go in. Kick it and deflected. Rebound by Archer. He'll go. He'll find Talbert, who's on the wing. He lobs it out to Richardson. He'll take it into the lane, kick it out. Talbert from way downtown misses. Rebound Daughtry. This is a dangerous thing when Daughtry gets on the run. He goes coast to coast, misses the shot, gets his board, goes back up and misses. Rebound by Archer. The so combine will slow it down here with we're about just over halfway through the first half as he'll give it over to Richardson. He'll look, he'll take it in against Fama Kende. He's cut off as he lobs it back to Hall. And he'll find Talbert. Talbert against Nichols will go in and he'll draw the foul. And that'll go against Nichols of Hargrave, the fifth team foul. That will be his first. So Combine will get it back, 20 on the shot clock. Talbert will inbound. He'll throw it, and well, way back to Richardson up top. Diallo setting the screen for him. He'll give it to Diallo, and he'll punch it in to hit Hall. Hall against Jackson, fakes, goes into the lane, spins, turns up, and missed it. Rebound for McKende. He'll run the point for Hargrave, goes into the lane, lays it up, and in. And that's Fall McKenday's second bucket. He has five. Talbert now up top. Hargrave ne or Combine needing a bucket badly, trailing by six right now. It's a 6-0 run for Hargrave as Talbert will take it into the lane. He'll bring it back out. He'll kick it to Richardson. Over to Archer. He'll take it in, kick it out to Hall. It's taken away. Montgomery goes up, lays it in. 8-0 run now for Hargrave. And Combine trying to find a way to get Against the pressure, they're having a hard time dealing with some of the deflections that are going on. Hargrave doing a really good job getting their hands in, as I mentioned earlier, as Richardson will control it up top. He'll take it, and he'll lob it into Diallo. He'll go in, spins, turns, puts it up, and a travel. So turnover as Combine is on an 8-0 run right now, and that will go back, or Hargrave's on an 8-0 run now. That will go back to Hargrave as Sharp checks back in. Shaden Sharp, number 12. And for Combine, out will go Diallo. And Joel Speckman, number 55, checks in for Hargrave. And out goes, I miss, Daughtry goes out for a breather. Bobby Kende up top now. His team up by eight. He goes in and cut off and goes up. What a move by Fama Kende, and he gets the bucket. That's seven for him now. 10-0 run for Hargrave. Richardson now up top. Of course, we got a lot of basketball left. I'm sorry, it's 11-0 run. This is a 19-18 lead for Combine as it's kicked out I think, to Talbert, and he'll fake. Look, take the three, missed it. Rebound, O's to Hargrave. It's also number 22, Cam Roberts, that checked in. Fama Kende feeling it from downtown. Fama Kende with 10. 
and it's a 13 point lead for Hargrave. Combine needs a bucket now in the worst way. Richardson bringing it up. Hall setting the screen. He can get it out to Sharp. And over to Talbert. He punches it in, turned over. Roberts with it. He'll spin, give it over to Fama Kende. Kende inside, puts it up. Got it and got fouled. Hargrave on a tear in this half. That'll be the fourth team foul against Combine. See who that goes. That's going to go against Talbert, his second. And, and Coach Jesowitz has seen enough. He's going to call a timeout, and we'll be right back. You're watching the CBG Live Network. And we're back, Hargrave on a tear. And I believe that's a, I may be running off a number two, but I believe that is a 17-0 run now. And they take a 16-point lead. Combine led all the way early as Talbert handles the ball. And he's got to be careful now, picking up his second foul. He'll go against Nichols. Hargrave, I think right now, just picked up their intensity as Sharp takes a three in and out and then back in again. Sharp with his second three-pointer and the lead's back to 13. Much needed. Big shout out to Isaiah on photography here tonight for CBG as it's taken in by Fama Kende and he'll draw the foul. And that'll go against number 15, Richardson. That'll be his first, the team's fifth. Here's where late in the first half. Fama Kende, who has double digits, he's feeling it. He gets the first one. One more coming up. Fama Kende, it's up and in. He has 12. A 15-point game now here in the first half. Richardson up top. He'll be guarded by Robert Screen coming from Sharp. Richardson will go against the 6'9 Speckman, and it's poked out of there and taken up by Richardson and blocked by Fama Kende, but a foul. And that's going to go against, was it on? Yes, that'll be against Fama Kende. That'll be his second. Thought they were going to call it on Speckman for a moment, but it's Fama Kende's second foul, the team's six. So now going to the line will be Richardson for two shots. First one is off. He'll get one more, though. Second one. It misses. Rebound, Speckman. By McKende. Lobs it over to Jackson. He'll take the long ball in and out. Rebound by Archer. Talbert on the run. He'll take it into the lane, drive, put it up, and miss it. Rebound, Speckman. Fama Kende kicks it to the corner. Jackson for three, missed it. 
Rebound Archer, Harger, or combine with numbers. Talbert goes to the other end, misses the shot. Rebound Jackson. Hargrave now with numbers. Nichols inside, feeds it to Robertson. He'll lay it up and in. Cam Roberts, his first bucket. And it's taken in and a foul. And that's going to go on number 22, Cam Roberts. That'll be his first, the team's seventh. Here is Richardson will go to the line. He'll put the first one up. It's good. One more coming up for Ryan Richardson. As Isaiah C. checks back in, and Talbert will take a breather. One more coming up, and misses. Rebound Speckman. Nichols into the lane, penetrates, jump shot up and misses. Rebound Richardson. He'll run the point for Combine. Lobbed across to Sharp. He thought about the three instead. Takes it in, lays it up and in. Shaden Sharp with eight. Now he has a look from a variety of schools. And you see why on that play as he gets the bucket for Combine. Nichols takes it over to Jackson. And back up to Nichols. He'll look up top, get it over to Roberts. And back to Montana, Montana who's checked in. It's lobbed to the corner and deflected out of bounds by Hall. There's 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Now Montano to inbound it from the sidelines. He'll slap and he looks, looks, lobs it into Nichols. Nichols, he'll take it and he's cut off, gets it to the corner. Roberts. Goes up, has to take it, and it banks in. Cam Roberts, oh my goodness, what a shot. It goes in, and that brings the lead back up to 17. It's good defense by Combine. Con Roberts has hit a tough shot there. Archer takes it in against Speckman, puts it up, and it's blocked out of bounds. As Daughtry will come back in, and out will go Speckman. Put in some good men. He had to have a good three. At least three rebounds in the time, time he played here in the first half as now C will inbound it for Combine. So now C will get it to the corner. Richardson drives inside, fakes, cut off, cut, pumps it into Hall. He'll post up, give it to the cutting Archer. He kills, scores and got the foul. Georgia's Archer will get the opportunity to go to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Archer at the line for the and one opportunity will miss it. Combine's missed a few free throws so far. And now Nichols will, will take it for Hargrave. He'll look and look and punch it in. He'll go to Roberts. He'll go for the jumper and make it. Roberts starting to feel it now. He has six. And it's a 16-point lead for Hargrave here. Just over two to go in the first half. Richardson running the points. He'll give it to Sharp. Three ball. Misses. Rebound. A foul. Let's see who that's going to go on. Looks like that's going to be on Nichols, but we'll get the official ruling. It's him or Montano. That's going to go against, or no, actually no, that's going to go against Jackson, my fault. And Archer will go to the line. That's a ninth team foul on Hargrave as Archer will make the first shot. He'll get one more. As Nichols comes out momentarily and into the game for Hargrave, back in, I should say, comes Alex Hawkins. One more, and up, and it's good. Archer in double digits. Now he has, or no, he has nine, I'm sorry, as Hawkins will handle it up top. He's guarded by Sharp. 
He'll punch it over to Roberts. Roberts, who's committed, who's with signed to the Citadel as it's rebounded by Archer. And Richardson will handle the ball for Combine here in the final two minutes of the first half. He'll take it, give it to Sharp. And over to Richardson for the long ball. Missed it. Rebound C. Back up and it's hit away by taken away by Roberts. He'll drive in, go up and miss it. Rebound Daughtry. He'll go up, got it, and got fouled. The so Daughtry will get to go to the line for one more. And see that's on, but gosh, Daughtry again, his size just and a quickness underneath the basket. That's going to go against number 22, Isaiah C. That'll be his first, the team six. Next one will give Hargrave the opportunity for the one and one bonus as Daughtry will hit the free throw. And he has eight now as Asher Jackson will take a breather and Montgomery will check back in. As Richardson will have it up top. He'll take it. Richardson into the lane, goes up and missed it. Rebound goes to Richardson and he'll give it out. Archer missed it, rebound up and Aaron Hall, no, Montano comes away with it and the big guy's gonna run with it. He'll go coast to coast, put it up and tip is missing. Mike Montano running the lane. The big guy gets it in and that's, that's gonna be a, about a 19 point lead for Hargrave, their largest. As Archer handles it, screen coming from Hall. He'll get it over to Aaron Hall. He'll go up, put the shot at miss it, get the miss, and or get, grab it, miss it. Montano on the run. Daughtry will go inside. It's poked out and a charge on Daughtry. That'll be the team's 10th foul. And I think that's going to be the second on Daughtry. But Daughtry with the charge on that. So that's going to be, or no, that ball, that's going to be his first. So. Tenth team foul though for Hargrave as Combine will have it. As Richardson will take it. He'll be guarded by Hawkins. He'll go, he'll fake, go up into the lane and kick it out. Turned over. Roberts, he throws it off of Sharp and he'll come back with it. Sharp to Archer. Goes into the lane. Reverse lay-ins. Good. Georges Archer now with 11. And it's a 17-point lead for Hargrave. Hawkins. He'll have it against Richardson. He'll take it into the lane, kick it out as at four, at three, at two. Montgomery missed it and into the hands of Combine. That'll do it for the first half where Hargrave Military Academy leads Combine 48-31. We'll take a break and come back. You're watching the CBG Live Network.
right, we have number one. Um, or we'll start some as Sharp will pull up and get it. And the Hill will get the chance. It counts. And well, double digits now for Sharp. That's the way you want to start if you're your combine foul on Nichols. Is second the team first. But for Hargrave, it's number zero Nichols, number one Montgomery, number three Hawkins, number 23 Daughtry, and number four. That's as he makes the free throw, and that's number four Bradford for Combine. It's number two Talbert, number 12 Sharp, number 15 Richardson, number five Hall, and number three Archer. Number 11 now is taken in. Montgomery on the corner. It's thrown back up to Hawkins. He'll go in, kick it to the corner. Montgomery, he'll take it. It's punched in to Hawkins for the way in. And that's his... Let's see, that is his first bucket. So one thing to note, the first half, and a big shout-out to Marcellus with the stats, but Hargrave's bench outscored Combine 23-7 to in that first half. Talbert up top, goes in, kicks it out. Archer from the corner, got it! And we'll see if that counts. That's going to be a two. So Archer they had a foot on the line, and that'll be 13 for him. It's a 14-point game as the corner shot. It's missed. Rebound up and into the hands of Nichols. It'll go out off him and to Combine. Good turnover gap. Combine's doubled in turnovers the first half. It was 12 to 6 on that end. That's something I think that's where Hargrave was able to take advantage. And it's turned over again. Combine on the run. Daughtry will flush it down. That's 10 for Jaden Daughtry now, and it's the lead's back up to 16. And I think that was a big play because it stopped Combine, who was starting to get a little bit of momentum. Sharp runs up to set the screen. Richardson takes it. He'll lob it over to Sharp. Sharp against Montgomery. He'll go. He'll kick it out to Archer. He'll look and give it to Sharp. He'll drive inside, sharp to the bucket, and he hangs on. I have to take the shot. It's four seconds on the clock as Archer will put it up and in. 15 for him now, and it's a 14-point lead here in the second half. As Nichols, who also has six assists, misses a shot. It goes out. I think that went off combine. It did. It's going to stay with Hargray. Montgomery to inbound from Hill Look. Throw it in to Nichols. Nichols looks, looks, screen coming from Bradford. We'll give it over. Bradford fakes, goes up, spins, and taken out of there. Daughtry's able to hang on to it. He'll go into the lane, put it up, and missed it. Rebound Richardson. Richardson take, taken away by Hawkins. He goes down. Daughtry, or I'm sorry, that's. That's what shots missed. Bradford, I don't know why I can't say his name, as Hall goes in and throws it down. Hall opened the game with a quick five, but he's been silent since uh, until now, and the lead is back to 12. Biggest lead for Hargrave has been 19. Hawkins up top, gives it to Daughtry. He's guarded by Richardson, goes in and puts it up, and an offensive foul, and if that's on Daughtry, we'll make sure that's a second team foul. Yes, that will be his second. So now Richardson will handle it up top. He'll be guarded by Montgomery. Screen coming from Sharp. Montgomery into the lane, lays it up and in. Count it and the foul. So Richardson will get a chance to go to the free throw line for one more. Combine though, only four of nine from the free throw line in the first half. He'll get a chance to cut this lead into single digits. He puts it up. It's good. Leads back to nine. The biggest lead for Hargrave has been 19. Nichols against Talbert. He takes it and a foul. That'll go against Talbert. There'll be a blocking foul and that will be his third, and the last foul also went against Bradford, and that was his third. And so now it's thrown into Daughtry, and both Bradford and Talbert will have to be careful as that one's up and good. So 
now Combine will get it back here, though. That'll be Richardson guarded by Montgomery. We'll go across half court, go into the lane, and try to feed Hall, but too hard. Daughtry will get it. He'll give it down court. Hawkins under the bucket to Montgomery. It's missed. Sharp, he goes down court. Hall, can he hang on? No, but it was deflected out by Daughtry. So Talbert will inbound. We'll take it from under near the corner. He'll slap, he'll lob it in, he'll go to Hall under the bucket, and he tips it in. Nice design play in Aaron Hall. Gets his ninth point, coming alive here this second half. As Nichols is going against Hall, penetrates, floater up, in. Nichols with nine now, and a timeout called by, timeout by Hargrave, so they, they have led by as much as 19 in this game so far. Combine jetted out to a 5-0 lead early, a dunk from Aaron Hall running the court to open up the game and then a three from Shaden Sharp and they were in it early. They led for five much of the way early and then Hargrave would take the lead um, late in the first uh, half about midway through. Um, and I mean, and here's the difference too, turnovers. Points off turnovers the first half, I mean 21 to two. Hargrave to combine it was in that area. But I mean, Har Har Hargrave led for 9:45. Um, I mean, in the first half, and so that was the last area, and that they just had a. I mean, it was just a tough, um, tough first half for Combine, just going several minutes without a bucket, allowing Hargrave to get up 35 to 18 before they would be able to claw back a little bit. Hargrave would build the lead to as high as 19, but Combine's been slowly able to claw back in this one as. Richardson will handle it up top. He'll go against Montgomery. Lob it down to Hall and unable to hang on. It'll go to Hawkins. He'll give it to Nichols. Drives in, puts the shot up and misses. Rebound sharp. He'll give it to Richardson. Richardson will back it up. He'll, he'll set the offense. Back, back inside, kick it out. Archer, jumper, got it. Georgia's Archer, he's feeling it. That is 17 for him now. And the lead is back to nine. Montgomery, he'll give it over to Hawkins. Back to Montgomery. He lobs it across court. Bradford drives in. He goes up and scores. Hit about every part of the rim that it could, and he'll get his second bucket. The lead is back up to 11. Talbert now. He'll take it up, guarded by Nichols. And a foul. And that'll go against Nichols, and that'll be his third. Coach Messenger said just keep keep playing. So he's going to keep him in there. Richardson handles it up top. He'll take it against Montgomery and cut off. He'll give it to Sharp, who's cutting. Deflected, and Richardson will handle it on the corner. Back out. Talbert's open. Missed it. Rebound Hargrave. Montgomery will take it down court. He'll give it to Bradford. He goes into the lane. Fine, nice pass under the bucket. Oh, it's, and it's blacked out of there by Sharp. Nice job by Sharp to get back and utilize his length on that one. And now Archer will take it for combine. He'll go into the lane, kick it to Hall. Over to Richardson. Set, he goes in and a foul. And that will go against Hawkins of Hargrave. That'll be his first and the team's fit. And now Talbert to inbound under the bucket. He'll look, he'll throw it in, get it to Sharp in the corner. 
Sharp punches it into Hall against Daughtry. He'll fake, go up, back down, back down, jump hook, up and in. That's 11 now for Aaron Hall. And the lead is again back to nine. Nichols will handle it against Talbert. He'll take it into the lane and try to dunk it, but miss. Daughtry's right there to pick it up and, and score. 12 for Daughtry now, and the lead again back up. We've been seesawing back and forth in and out of the double digits here as Talbert will take it, drive into the lane. He'll go up, circus shot, missed it. Rebound goes to Montgomery. Nichols on the run. He finds turned over. Talbert goes the other way. He finds Hall running. He'll dunk it. Hall with eight in this half. And it's now a nine-point lead again, and that's what I mean. His motor just unbelievable. As Nichols will take it. He'll run the point for Hargrave. He'll get it out to Daughtry. Makes it, goes in, spins, turns, cut off, goes, kicks it out, and that'll go out of bounds. It's lobbed up. Sharp comes away with it. Sharp kicks it to the corner. Archer into the lane, up, and missed it. Rebound right there, though, is a putback. So now the lead back to seven, the closest it's been in a while. Nichols takes it. He'll, he'll go in. He cut off and dunk it. Oh, my gosh. Nichols. Somebody missed an assignment, and Nichols has 11 now. Richardson now with the ball. He'll take it. Since screen set by Sharp, Richardson tries it from outside, gets it. That'll be a three, and that leads back to six. And a timeout taken by Combine. We're going to take a little breather. This one's been wild. We'll come back right here on CBG Live Network. in the second half. Nichols now driving. He'll cut, be cut off. Famakinde up top. Radford over to Jackson. He'll drive inside. Jackson out to Montgomery. He'll drive in. And it's like they're going to call that a foul on the floor. That will go against Sharp. I think that's going to be his second. We'll get the official call. I want to say who gets the foul, but I want to wait till we get the official ruling on it. But it's um, so yes, that's sharp second as it's inbounded now, thrown in. Jackson on the corner. He thought about the three instead. He's double teamed and it's thrown out. Fomakinde drives in, kicked out. But Nichols drives in, jump shot up, misses, rebound by Archer. And Richardson now. Bring it up. Sharp comes up. He'll, t he'll take it. Richardson into the lane to, hit, to Hall. He wanted to say Hill. I know it's Hall. As Richardson goes in, he takes the jump shot. Got it. He's feeling it this half. I believe it was a two. It was. And Richardson with eight. The lead is back to three. Hargrave has led by as much as 19 in this one. Bob McKinday guarded by Hall. He'll go into the lane. That's a great matchup. Two great motor players going at it. And an offensive foul against Bradford. And that'll be his fourth. So now substitution as Cam Roberts comes in for Hargrave. And Bradford will go to the bench momentarily. As now it's 62-59, a three-point game. And Hargrave led by as much as 19. Richardson will take it up top. Screen from Sharp. He'll take it, go in, kick it out. Sharp for the tie. Got it! Shaden Sharp. Wow! 
Combine down 19 to the number one team in the land. They come back and tie it. Nichols into the lane. It's kicked out to Roberts. Over to the corner. Back up to Roberts. And uh, Nichols into Famakende. He'll go into the lane. The ball goes up. Big shot from Famakende to give his team the lead back. And he's been on a tear this game. Let's see. He has 14 as it's a two-point Hargrave lead. Screen coming from Hall. Richardson goes in. He gives it to Sharp. Inside to Hall. He'll spin, turn, go up, deflect it out of there, and Nichols will come away with it. Hargrave on the run. Nichols, jump shot, up, in. 13 now for Nichols, and it's back to a four-point lead for Hargrave. Talbert running the point. He gives it over to Richardson. Three ball from Richardson. Missed it. Rebound by Roberts. Nichols back to Fama Kende. He thought about it. He go, instead goes into the lane and puts a shot up. Blocked by Hall and a foul. So that'll be the first on Aaron Hall and Fama Kende. Well, and that guy is a load to handle in the paint. He will go to the line. That's what's so scary about him because he had, he's so, I mean, he's built like a linebacker for football. And um, Fama Kende has looks from St. John's, Old Dominion, UT Chattanooga, and many others. He's He misses the first shot. He'll get one more. What a great game this has been. Two, two great schools, Hargrave and Combine going at it. Couldn't ask for a better matchup. One more. Coming up, and it misses. Rebound goes to Combine. Richardson now will handle it. Richardson takes it in, kicks it out to the corner. Talbert from Long. Got it. And that'll be a three. Talbert with the bucket. Is that the first time? That's the first bucket I have for Talbert. As it's taken in and put up and in. That's Vaughn Akende again, and lead back up to three. Richardson, as Sharp comes up, take it and give it back, or tries to get Archer. He's cut off. Instead, Roberts deflects it out. He'll take it, give it to Montgomery. He'll try it from downtown and connect. Montgomery with his second three ball of the game, and he has 13, lead back up to six. Albert now running the point. He'll go into the lane. He'll go give it to Archer, and he's on the end line. It'll go back to Hargrave. Fama Kende now handling it. He'll be guarded by Hall. He'll take it from Long. Miss it. Rebound Sharp. Sharp's got to have close to a dozen boards. Richardson now going against Roberts. He'll take it, lob it over to Hall. Hall spins into the lane, goes up and misses a shot. I think that might have been poked out. Jackson now on the run. He'll go against Talbert, kick it to the corner to Montgomery and back over to Jackson. Famakende will handle it up top. He'll give it to Nichols. As Nichols will reset the offense screen coming from Roberts. He goes, kicks it out. Fama Kende guarded by Sharp. Long to a ball, misses. Rebound, Richardson. And he'll bring it up for Combine. He'll throw it into Hall. He lobs it across court to Archer. He goes into the lane, puts the shot up and in. George's Archer, nice game for him. He now has... 19. The lead is again back to four. Fama Kende handling the basketball for Hargrave. He'll take it, give it up to Nichols and over to Jackson. He's open. Missed it. Rebound Hall. Talbert on the run. He'll take it, go into the lane, put the shot up and missed it. Rebound Hall, I think. No. But good hands by Nichols to come up with it. He's on the run. He'll take it, go back out, reset the offense here as we're getting deeper into the second half. Roberts 
He'll take it in against Hall, put the shot up, and it bounces in. Nice body control by Cam Roberts and a full timeout by Hargrave Military Academy. We're going to take it with them. You're watching the CBG Live Network. We'll be right back. And we're back. Both teams retake the court. And want to give a big shout out to Hamza handling the camera or handling production here on this one. And of course, Alex, we've got on production on the camera. And of course, big shout out to Jack and Chris and everybody here. What a fun has been it's been. As Richardson will bring it up, he'll give it back. Talbert. He goes against Nichols. Fine. Sharp for the long ball. Got it. Three by Sharp. Big bucket as that trims the lead back to three. Hargrave, um, or Hargrave is led by as much as 19 as Robert or a blocking foul called on Hall. Tommy Kende in delay. I think Hall was just a half second late getting there, and that will be his second foul as team's fourth. So Hargrave will inbound under the bucket. Nichols looks and looks, and it's into Jackson in the corner. He's double teamed. Finds Nichols in the lane, kicks it out. Montgomery, a give from downtown. In and out, rebound, up and into the hands of Sharp. Well, they were going to get it done for a second the way that went. Richardson now will bring it up. He'll go into the lane, kick it out. Archer will drive, cut off. He kicks it out. Richardson will handle it. He'll go in, put the shot up, miss it, and a foul. And this foul will put Combine in the one-and-one one bonus. This will be a two-shot foul, though, as Richardson will go to the line. As that one will go against Montgomery, that will be his second. So now Richardson at the line for two shots. I mean, unbelievable comeback from Combine when it looked like Hargray was going to run away with this thing as he'll hit the first. Richardson got it. And now a one-point game here in the second half. As Nichols handling the basketball screen from Paul McKende. He'll get it over. Paul McKende looks, drives inside, kicks it out to Roberts and over to Nichols. He'll drive and put the shot up and a foul, but before the shot. And that will go against Talberts. That will be a... Uh, That'll be the team's fifth foul of the second half. That's his fourth. Talbert has to be careful as Jackson goes out of the game and in comes Daughtry for Hargrave. Nichols will inbound. He lobs it back. Paul McKende, he's guarded by Talbert, and he'll go into the lane, and they'll call. And if that's on Talbert, he's, he's fouled out. That is, that is Talbert's fifth foul, and he's going to go to the bench. Um, wow, that was, uh, of course. Of 
Or no, they're caught. No, I'm, I apologize. They're calling that on Archer. Talbert is going out. That's my apologies. It's thrown up top by McKenday over. So Talbert is still in. Daughtry will miss the shot, and it'll go to, it'll stay with Combine as Talbert getting ready to check in. I think he's going to go offense for defense here. And then try, or he'll try to protect Talbert as Isaiah C will come out. Then bounded to Montgomery, trapped in the corner. He punches it into into the nickels in the post. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Fama Kende, jumper, up. Got it. Man, that guy can hit those. He's He increases the lead back to three. Richardson with the basketball. He'll be guarded by Roberts. He'll drive inside, put it up, and miss it, but a foul. And that's going to go against, that'll be Fama Kende. That'll be his third and the team with eight right now here in the second half. So two more will give Combine the double bonus as Richardson will go to the line. This will be a shooting foul. The first one's up and it goes out. And he'll get one more as number three Hawkins comes back in for Hargrave. Out will go Roberts. One more coming up. Richardson's second is good. Ryan Richardson has 11 now, and it's a two-point game again. Here, here let, Hargrave led by 19 here in the second half. Nichols will take it. He'll bring it back out, go into the lane. Nice find under to Daughtry. He'll put it up and in. Jaden Daughtry, he has 14 on the night now as it's a four-point lead for Hargrave. Richardson up top. Richardson against Hawkins. He'll go into the lane. Take it post up and lob it out to Sharp. Shaden Sharp guarded tightly by Montgomery. He'll go into the lane and looks like he's going for the pass and it's deflected out of bounds and will stay with Combine. So Talbert to inbound from under the bucket. He'll lob it into Sharp. Going against Montgomery, Sharp to the bucket, puts it up, misses, but draws contact. So Sharp will get to go to the line for two shots coming up, and that is also the ninth. That foul is on Montgomery. That's his third. And the next foul will give Combine... The opportunity for the double bonus as Sharp hits the first. He'll get one more. Sharp has 18. One more for Sharp. The second one is good. I think that 19 for Shaden Sharp. And it's a two-point game now late. And Nichols up top. He'll throw it over. Tom McKinday will drive in, lay it up, and in. That's the thing, all that strength that Hargrave has, they put it to good use as Fama Kende builds the lead back to four for his team. Richardson now guarded by Hawkins going full court. He'll give it over to Sharp. He'll be cut off, lob it across court. Archer from the corner, in and out, and it's tipped up to Hall. He goes up and missed it, but a foul. All will get two coming up, and that'll go against number five, Fama Kende of Hargrave. So that'll be his fourth and the team's tenth. And, and for Combine, Talbert also has four. So now Hall going to the line. He puts the first one up, and it's good. Hall has, let's see, Hall has 18, 13 of it in the second half. He scored five early before Hargrave would Hold him scoreless the rest of the first half, and he gets one more. Got it! And it's inbounded to Daughtry. Back up to Fama Kende. He'll go against Archer. Oh, what a game. It's been great atmosphere here at Massanutten Military Academy. Screens from Daughtry. 
Kwame Kende, he'll give it back out to Nichols. He's guarded by Talbert. String coming from Daughtry, they'll switch. Archer guarding Nichols. He'll take the jumper. Missed it. Da Daughtry right there to get the board and put it back up and in, and that's where Hargrave is gone, the paint, and they're back up four late. Richardson now up top. He's guarded by Hawkins. He'll go in. He's cut off and gives it back to Archer. Archer to Sharp. He's guarded tightly. And he'll go into the lane. Find Hall for the jam. Oh, my goodness. Back to a two-point game again. That's 20 for Hall. Oh, it's, it's two minutes. Just over two minutes to go. It's a two-point game. Paul McKende. I don't even point if I'm Hargrave. I mean, I just keep trying to drive and attack inside. It's worked these past few possessions. That's what they do. It's kicked out to Montgomery. And Hawkins, it's deflected and off the foot of Nichols. Hall with the dive. And it will be a timeout taken by Combine. Oh, my goodness. Aaron Hall with the dive. We're going to take a breather here. We got a great two minutes of ball coming up to Here's possession and calls a timeout for his team. And now Combine, with 1.49 remaining, will have it down two. Richardson with the basketball up top. He'll take it. He's guarded by Hawkins. Richardson looks, finds Talbert. Talbert, he looks, finds Sharp. Corner fakes, goes, and they try to hit Sharp off that screen. Sharp goes in, finds Hall under the bucket, and it stays with Combine. And they will have 11 seconds to get a shot off. So Talbert will inbound from under the bucket. He looks, pounds it in as Talbert back out to Sharp, nearly taken away. Jumper, Sharp, tied! 20 for Sharp as now Daughtry takes it. He goes the other way into the lane, put up and in. Back to a two-point lead. So a timeout taken by Combine. We'll take the breather with them. We'll be right back. He'll take it and guarded tightly by Hawkins at half court as he'll take it into the lane. He's guarded tightly, cut off, picks up his dribble. Sharp into the lane. Hakes turns, cut off, and goes up. Missed it. Rebound under the bucket. Oh, my goodness. Archer there to tip it in. 
And we're tied again. 30-second timeout taken by Combine Academy. Their final. Man, these two teams are so much fun to watch. We're tied up here with 50 seconds to go. But just going through some numbers, gosh, what? First off, from for Hargrave, how about Fama Kende today? 9 of 14 from the field, 22 points. Nichols for Hargrave, 13 points, 8 assists. Um, I mean, Combine, honestly, they have 19 turnovers today. They're still, still, you know, still in this thing. And, I mean, they are, shoot, able to have a tie game and Talbert having an off night at one for nine so far. But he also has 12 assists. But I think for, I think for, of course, just looking and just going through and seeing the numbers here, right now, I mean, fast break, it's 12 to 6 in favor of Hargrave. Second chance, 16 to 6 in favor of Hargrave. 28 14 in favor of Hargrave off turnovers and 48 40 in favor of Hargrave in the paint. But what a, what a great game it's been either way. Combine, who was down 17 at half, trailed by 19 in the second. And now we're tied up here late. And Hargrave will have the ball. I mean, it's it's simple if I'm a, if I'm Hargrave. That was a smart call by Coach Jesowitz on the timeout because the way Hargrave gets down court on those inbounds, if I'm Hargrave, I go right to Dard, Daughtry. I go to Daughtry or I go to Fama Kende and I go to the paint. Of course, I try to pack the paint a little bit if I'm combined. Sure enough, Fama Kende takes it, puts it. It's taken away. Sharp with the ball. 35 to go. He gets it to Richardson. He'll bring it up. He'll be picked up by, by Bradford. Richardson combines out of timeout. Seven-second differential between the game and shot clock. Richardson, he'll cross over, go into the lane, put it up, missed it, tipped up, missed again. Into the hands of, I got it! That was Hill who, Hall who got it, and it's up and in. 12 seconds to go. Nichols into the lane. He's cut off. It's going out. Tom McKende for the win. Missed it. It goes off, and it's put up by Montgomery. He ties it. The body had a little less time than he did. Montgomery gets the tie. 85 all here with 3.6 to go. A timeout called by Hargrave. It'll be their last. We'll be right back. Honestly, I might put someone like Speckman in there with his 6'9 frame to press the inbounds pass. Then I keep, I mean, two players I absolutely, w if, if, if Combine's going to beat me, it's not going to be Shaden Sharp and it's not going to be George's Archer. That's what I determine if I'm hard grade. They've had some good shots from downtown here in this one as, as now, and of course, I mean, that's where I go if I'm combined, but you've got 3.6 seconds to go. You could try to get it maybe to Hill at mid, to Hall at midcourt and try to have him feed it to somebody on the run. Combine stacking, and they throw, and look and tries to find, and looks, get it in. Oh, it's taken away. Dockery at the buzzer. Dockery stole the ball. Dockery stole the ball, and he got it. Oh, my goodness. Dockery has stole it and scored with one second remaining. It's locked down court. Sharp, and it's to Richardson, and he won't get it off. Dockery stole the ball and scored with one second to go, and Hargrave will survive against Combine. What a game. They led by 19 in the second half, and Dockery gets the steal and went, scores for his team to win. Oh, my gosh. Wow, what a game. 87-85 is your final, and Hargrave a great win. Combine, that's the third time I've seen them play. Excellent team. Same with Hargrave. Wow, could watch them play all day. It's been, it's been a great event, but we thank you all for tuning in to this one. I want to, want to again say thank you, a big thank you to 